Okay, let's begin. I'm on a Samsung Galaxy um, S3, and we're using Posture Screen Mobile. So here's the icon for Posture Screen Mobile. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to do our first screening. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put their name. So we can go ahead and change their, the date of the exam if we'd like. Uh, it's going to default to the current date and time. Um, we'll say that she's a male or female, right? So we'll go ahead and uh, put in that she's a female. And let's go ahead and put, I always use the default, Cheryl. And let's go ahead and put Doe as her last name. And she is five foot two. Notice how I'm using this next button. Something that you should know is that each Android keyboard is different. Unlike the iPhone, uh, Android, you can pretty much install anything that you want. So your keyboard, and your mileage may vary based on the Android device that you have. This is a Samsung S3 running the latest Jelly Bean uh, operating system. So this is not even a stock um, S3 that you would get at your phone carrier. Um, those of you with an S3 might look at this and say, I realized something was different. Well, that's why. And of course, Android, you can do that pretty easy. So let's go ahead and put her weight. All right, I'm just gonna scroll up. We want to put in their email address, so I'm going to put mine in here, Dr. Joe. Okay, I can't even type on this while I'm filming here. And let's go ahead and put my email address. Okay. And we can put their phone number as well as we can put a password. This password is for HIPAA compliance for emailing to make it as secure as possible so only the patient can open it using their password. So you might ask the patient, what's your dog's name? Or what password do you want? Or do you want to just make it one, two, three? Whatever you want to decide with the patient, they're going to have to remember it though to open up that PDF document. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that. If you're a fitness professional, HIPAA doesn't apply, so you could go ahead and skip that. In this notes section, you can go ahead and say where it was done. Was it at a gym? Was it wherever you want? But we ha have predefined ones. We can go ahead and say that this was an outside screening. Next, we can go ahead and do their verbal rating score or the pain scale. So we're going to just put them at a 5 out of 10. If we wanted to hide the patient data um, if from eyes, like if we're mirroring this on a screen, we can go ahead and have this turned off and notice that everything turns into just dots. We're going to keep that on. Um, the pain diagram is, is basically a, um, a stress survey with pain diagram, or we can do it without. So I'm going to show you that, and this is a, a small paid one-time fee upgrade, just a one-time fee for all your Android devices. Okay, and here we have the pain diagram. Uh, this is optional, and it's an optional upgrade, like I said before. We have the front and the, the back view. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the back view, and then it's a pain diagram, so we're going to mark where the, the pain is, right? And then all we do is hit back out here. We hit done. Okay, and then we can go ahead and do the stress survey portion of it. Um, just it's a simple history, that's all it is. We'll go ahead and say that I have high blood pressure, allergies, tingling in their hands, mid back pain, whatever you want to do. Okay, they have low back pain. All right. And so when that's done, you can either hit next at the top or scroll all the way down. And at this point, we can save and just export uh, what we have, or we can save and finish later if, if we want to, if we're busy, or just continue on to the next screening, which we could have hit next before. Now, there's two ways to pull photos in. Number one is we can take a photo if we just click here and the camera's already turned on. Notice and you get this heads up display. And like what I, I told you before, um, even though I don't have a patient in front of me, um, if I have it set at 15 degrees, so that means that for that horizontal, I have to be 15 degrees, so that way it will line up and turn green. Now this is only optional. At minimum, you want to get this this vertical line straight when you when you're taking a photo. Okay, you want to at least have that locked in. And then secondarily, it'd be nice if you can have this locked in, and then you can go ahead and snap the picture. Which down here is how you would snap the picture. Okay, so I could just take a snapshot of basically the, the uh, tabletop here. And then what you would do is you would pan and zoom so that the top of the head gets to the yellow line and the bottom of the feet get there. Now, I'm not going to save this one because I'm going to show you the alternate method. The alternate method is 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the camera. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to now browse to the images. So I have two images here, a front view and a side view. So we're gonna go ahead and, and import that. And so you can see I already had a photo taken. I'm just going to zoom and then pan. And if I need to, I can just make it a little bit smaller and fit it. Notice how this is the most important part for calibration. All right, most important. Notice the top of her head is at the yellow line, bottom of the feet at the yellow line, okay? This is crucial if you want the millimeters or inches displacement to be accurate, and we have to have an accurate height on her, okay? If you mess this up or your staff messes this up, then you will have some readings that are not as accurate as you want to be for the millimeters translational distances, okay? With that being said, let's go ahead and hit save. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the next photo. So I would take a picture, or since it's, it's turned off, let's go ahead and import the other view. So as you can see, we're gonna do the same thing. So this would not be good. We wouldn't want to okay it here because notice the space there, right? So we want to zoom and just crop it down just like so, and then we hit save. Okay, it's really that easy for calibration. Now we're ready to move on to the next step. If we hit next, it's going to open this up. Now, if you're on a tablet, you're gonna see that this is what to click, and it tells you up here where, where to click. Now, if you're on a tablet, this window may be a little bit small, okay? But it's always in the same order. You always go left to right, I should say our left to our right, which is opposite of the patient. So just click what it tells you. So I'm gonna go ahead and come into her eye, okay? I'm gonna come into her other eye right here. And if you need to move it again, that's not a problem. You just move the dot and just move it into place. Or if, if your staff made a mistake, you could just go ahead and just delete them too, okay? It's that easy. So let me go ahead and do this so that way you can see. We're gonna come in here, and I'm gonna come in here, and then we can just go ahead and do this fast if we want to. So I can come in, hit her thoracic posture, hit her approximation of her ASISs, and if you make a mistake, no worries, we can just go ahead and clear those points. Okay, so it's really easy if we, if we make a mistake. Let me just go ahead and do this and actually pay attention to what I'm doing. So if I come in here to her eyes, come into right there, we're just gonna come in like this, and here, and here, and hopefully you can see that. We're gonna zoom in here, zoom in there. If you want to, we can also zoom in. Let me show you something. We can pan and we can zoom if we want to to get a little clearer picture, right? So I can turn this button back on and I can zoom into her ear. And this is a point that many people make a mistake. It's the AC joint level, okay? But where the C7, T1 area is of their lower neck. So if I put a dot and down, I'll show you. Let me just go ahead and hit her femur head area, knee, and lateral malleolus. So this is something that you guys should see. If I follow her neck, where does it go? So if she had shoulder protraction, then we don't want to click way forward. We want to click where, if we took an x-ray, where would the base of her spine be? Uh, or essentially the C7, T1 area of the center, which follows her neck, okay? Now let's go ahead and hit next. What's nice about this is, right here we have all the displacements forward from the front view as well as the side view. Um, if we want to show the patient, we could show the patient. And can we blow this up if we want to as well? And then here is the send screens. Now, if you already have Dropbox synced, you can upload just the images to Dropbox so that way you can drag and drop them into your uh, Windows or Mac um, and also keep them in the Dropbox folder for your other, other tablets as well. Or we can upload the images or the PDF as well. Or we can go ahead and we can email to the patient. Now, uh, unlike the Apple version, the Android version, unfortunately, the PDF generation is much slower. And this is something that we have no control over at the present. Hopefully, in over the next uh, short amount of time, we'll be able to speed this up. But right now, it's a limitation of Android uh, PDF creation with something as complex as what we have. Obviously on the Apple platform, this happens within about two to three seconds. As you can see, even on an S3, it takes a little bit longer and it can take upwards of a minute the first time, 
So just be a little bit patient. It's going to ask you what do you want to do with, with, your, um, with that PDF. We're just going to say we want to email it. At this point, it's going to auto-populate, if we scroll down, it's going to email it to the patient, which happens to be me, and it's going to blind carbon copy it to my other email address. It's attached to the PDF document, and this text, if you go into settings, you can change all this template with that one-time purchase of the upgrade module. Okay, so you can change the text as well as the, the text in the PDF document. Okay, so I can go ahead and hit send, and then it goes back. If I want to just view the PDF, all I have to do is just click that, and it will open up the PDF. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up the PDF in just a second. And there we go. So here is the PDF that we just did. Notice that there's my logo. Um, this is the report that we just did with all the displacements. Okay, and here is the pain diagram with the areas that we went ahead and put in linked. Okay, so at this point, we're done. We can go ahead and uh, print this. We can view this, whatever we want to do. I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button on the S3. It's right here. Okay, and we're going to go back into our program. Actually, I opened it up twice, so let me go back to the program. Okay, so there's a program. If I want to save the photos, we can save the photos to the camera roll. We can upload those images if we want. Okay, and that's how we do it. And the first time what you're going to see is that it's going to want to allow, you have to do this very, just one time, and it's going to allow and then it's going to upload everything into the device, into Dropbox. Okay, for more information please browse to postureanalysis.com or email us at info at postureco.com. Thank you.